Well, since I'm running out of mascots to use in these homebrew videos, we're just gonna circle around back and go with Jason again. Heck, it's not even Friday the 13th. Heck, it's not even the 13th. Hey, it's not even Friday. But in our hearts, it is. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. Okay, so we are now mid-ish month of July, and even though it is not, in fact, Friday the 13th, we are still going to be talking about all of the upcoming homebrew news that I was able to find for you all for mid-July 2022. And before my head explodes from saying July 2022, here's the first first bit of news. For those of us who have always wanted to at least have the ability to do remote play on our PS Vitas with the PS5, you'll be happy to know that it's going to be coming soon. Oh, and plot twist, Sony has nothing to do with it. Now, in all honesty here, this is a project that has been worked on since like, I want to say last year, but it seems like we got an update for it and it's getting a lot closer than one would first expect. And the source comes from Reddit itself. PS5 remote play on PS Vita is one step closer. Chiaki is being worked on. And for all you Danganronpa fans who might be thinking to yourself, hey wait, wasn't Chiake... Shh. Spoilers. But yeah, the process is moving along once again. Now, the opening poster had this to say. This isn't my work. However, I have tried it and can install Chiaki on the Vita with the bubble images removed, which will discover the PS5 and connect, but no video feed just yet. But this is very promising and well worth testing slash feeding back and showing some love to. If anyone gets any further than connection slash disconnection, let me know. Oh, PS Vita remote play on PS5. Where have you been all my life? So yes, it is still a work in progress, but it is nice to see an update on this. Now, if I only had a PS5 to go along with it... <sighs> Don't worry, don't worry, I'll get over it. And maybe to help me do just that is the next bit of news. Did you guys know that somebody actually got Fallout 1 to run on the PS Vita? Yes, they actually did. Well, at least the one back from like, what, 1997? You know, the uh, less demanding version. And if you're a big PC gamer like me, then this will make you jump for joy, as I already did. Earthquakes and all. I'm a fat dude, it's just what we do. Man, I had hair back in 1997. And yeah, that's basically what this individual did. If you would like to know how to install the game on your PS Vita for yourself, I will have a link to his Reddit post where he explains how to do this down in the video description below, along with everything else I talk about in this video. It's gonna get pretty busy down there as usual. Alright, let's get around to talking about some games now, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, I couldn't think of a better segue into this. We have a new game that is coming to the PS Vita called... Wait, 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 what did my notes say? Oh yeah, Death Row to Canada, or Canadia if you're like me and are not from Canada. I have no idea why I say it like that. And uh, yeah, I just had everything ready for this video, didn't I? But anyway, this game comes not other from the individual himself, Rin. He is porting yet another Android game to the PS Vita. And when he brings something out, you know it's gonna be good. So what's this game about, you may ask? Well, let's see. Control a car full of jerks as they explore cities, recruit weird people, rescue dogs, argue with each other, and face gigantic swarms of slow zombies. Whoa, they pretty much made a game based on my social life, randomly generated for a new story and rare events every time you play. I mean, wow, that was just like poetry in motion right there. That description alone is enough to get me into the game. And once again, as we see with Rin's track record, this game got very positive reviews over in Steam or over at Steam. So when this game comes out and knowing the way things go usually with my channel, it'll probably already be out by the time I upload this video because these individuals work very fast. But if there is a new update on it, I will have that mentioned in the video description below. Oh, and for anybody who actually lives in Canada, I have a question. Is all this stuff really over there? Because if it is, I'm gonna visit ASAP. Whoa, maybe South Park was right after all. Oh, and speaking of Rin, remember how in the previous homebrew video I mentioned that he's bringing over the game Fahrenheit, which is from the same developers of Heavy Rain, over to the PS Vita as a port? Well, it's already out. Yeah, yeah, that was fast. It's a third person action game, yada yada yada. If you've never seen my previous video on this, I will have that somewhere like down at the bottom or maybe at the end of the video or somewhere. Or maybe I'll just forget. I don't know. But anyway, it is currently out now as I speak and as I make this video. And an individual over on YouTube named PSP Mav has done a very comprehensive tutorial on how to get this game running on your PS Vita, which I will also have linked down there somewhere. PSP Mad? 
Why would somebody be mad at a PSP? So if you've never had a chance to try out this game much like myself, now's our chance to do so. Looks pretty cold out there though. Whoa, now the title of this game actually makes sense. You really just figured that out now? Okay, let's talk about another homebrew port. This one is called Sonic Time Twisted. Now I gotta admit, I haven't kept up with Sega's of late, so I didn't even know this game was a thing, but then I actually found out that there's probably a reason for that because this is actually a fan-made game, which knowing their track record, I'm kinda surprised that they actually haven't made this into an official game. Or wait, have they? Uh, which off the cuff gives me very big nostalgic vibes of Sonic CD and Sonic 3, which I'm assuming was intentional. So yeah, this is an open source classic Sonic style fan-made game for Windows PC, Mac, Android, Nvidia Shield, and probably every other sort of device on the planet. But now it's for the PS Vita, and that's truly all that matters. So as far as the whole Sonic lore goes, this takes place in an alternative timeline, Sonic Time Twisted, which follows after the destruction of the Death Egg and the death of Dr. Robotnik, which has like the return of Metal Sonic, I believe, from Little Planet, and he has a plan to rescue his creator, and yada yada yada, you have to run from point A to B, i.e. left and right, and stop him from doing so. Also, quite frankly, this game makes me want to eat some chili dogs. Though it doesn't take a whole lot of convincing for an individual like myself to eat. So if you think that emulation on the PS Vita reached its zenith with the current yo-yo loader, well think again because we have yet another plot twist on our hands here. Yet another method has been found where content creators, and not me because I had have no idea where to even start, or aka developers in this case, are going to be able to make their own game slash homebrews on the PS Vita via different methods. Oh, I swear, I don't even know how these individuals find all these crazy ways of doing so. And the newest method that everyone is talking about as of late is called called, and I hope I'm saying this right, Go Dot or God Dot or something like that? I don't know. I will admit here, it's not quite as fun a word to say as Yo-Yo Loader, but for all you non-technical people, much like myself, all you need to know is that it's going to be a much improved, easier, and more slicker way of making homebrew games on the PS Vita. And forgive me for repeating myself on this one, because that's all that truly matters. Well, I'm gonna have to drink a total of nine root beers after this video, because boy was there a lot that we covered here today. So guys, I would love to know, how did you enjoy this video? What got you excited the most? What are you looking forward to playing? And hey, what have you already been playing that was featured on this? Tell me all of that good stuff down in the comments section below. And if there is any homebrew news that you know of that I have yet to cover on this channel, let me know what I've missed down in the comments section below, and I'll give you a shout out in the next homebrew video. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to Catherine.uk, Airkick72, McKeese Blob, Randy Azadech, B Mystery, Zacredo, Matt Fox, Alan Iwazuk, Reiko Star, Shin Snake, Neo Rashi, Milk Sama, Mishuga360, Bushin Ryu Cat, Berserker Games, Hero Acer, BMF, Phantom XRS, Gutter Drums, Adam Sondi, Clay Malarkey, Saul Ramirez, Hemdal Imbert, PS Vita S, VG Legends, Kyle Brooks, Richard Cruz, Jared Hado, JR, Joseph Shavak, Kevin Enright, Silica, Jale, Heston Joseph, Per Sterner, H Hitter, Crazy Cat, Adam Thury, Wendy K, Michael O'Connor, Rodrigo Vera, Skull Shirtugo TCG, David Ray, Buzz Saiyan, Hector Gonzalez, Franz Hartle, Chris Foxhound, Rizal Pliskin, Kayonko, Aridri, 1488 Dental, Burrs and Mystery, No Good, Azumara, Juan M. Hermosillo, Lacerated 87, Nintendo Switch at 2 AM, Eric DeWitt, Donut Valley, Tasha Monty, Starlight Mirror, Ricardo Martinez, Mozgus, PSP Guru, Dr. Super Artie, Matt Hargett, Jamie, and Sabin Fire. And a huge thank you to Michael Marchand, Blaine Locklayer, and Thomas Cremet for the recent outside donations. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end credits of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided to, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in 
purchasing something from them. Basically, the way it works is so long as you use one of those links to just access their website, then anything you purchase afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you, the consumer. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. No, seriously, I'm curious. If you actually are from Canada, is it really like that? Is there like death all over the place and like zombies around every corner? Because I always wondered where The Walking Dead was filmed at. Thank you.